Hi everybody, it's Crystal. I hope everybody is doing well and uh, doing safe. I'm doing um, great. So thank you everybody for joining me. Um, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos or crochet tutorials. And also I have hundreds of bows. If you're interested, you can check those out. But like I always say, if you're not interested in that uh, crocheting, I got a lot of yarn content too. So it's always fun to look at new yarns. So yeah, subscribe if you can or if you want to. Um, and hit that notification bell. All right, let's begin. And welcome back to all my loyal followers. You know I always love all you guys. All right, um, today I'm doing uh, a yarn from my Around the World series. Um, this is from Australia. Now I know that it's, it's going to be good because I have a friend who lives in Australia, uh, Australia who actually sent me a few balls of this yarn before. And Gary from Urban Yarn, if you do not know who he is, my gosh, you should look him up, has mentioned um, this company too. So I bought from them Bind Bindigo Woolen Mills in Australia. Now, I will say that... Um, they do take a while to get your order here, and it does mention that on the website. So I, I expected that. It says that, because um, they have a brick and mortar also, so not all the yarns that they show on their website, they don't know if they're going to be available at the time you purchase. So sometimes they put on back order. And that was, that was fine with me. I understood that. So I ordered this on July the 3rd, and it is September 3rd. July 30th, I ordered this July 30th, and it is September 3rd now. So about a month, and I don't think that's too bad because they did put, they did have some of mine on back order, but once it shipped, it didn't take um, that long to get here. It was just waiting on the back order ones that I, that I had. So just keep that in mind. It does say you can call them before you order and make sure they have what you're wanting if you do not want to wait. Um, I didn't do that. I just waited. I didn't know if they had it or not. And then they emailed me and said that some were on back order, but I was cool with that because, you know, they explain it. Um, and they don't have tons of yarn, but the yarn they have is very pretty looking. And like I said, I have a few balls here from my friend from Australia too. So I, I only one variety of it I have here, I believe. All right. So their site is set up in Australian dollars. Um, so if you are from the U.S., it'll actually be a little cheaper um, when you go, if you buy from them, the exchange rate will make it a little bit cheaper. Um, it varies, I think, but I think as of today, um, it's 75 cents U.S. dollar equals one Australian dollars. But remember that that can change. It fluctuates, but it's been keeping around the 70s to 75 so dollar mark but anyways i don't know if you don't want to hear any more of that let's look at the the wool one two bendigo woolen mills remember i'm not affiliated with them i just bought from them i heard high high uh things about them and their yarn it looks so very pretty <laughs> oh it's so pretty i knew it would be i knew it would be though so it was no surprise to see this bag. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. I'm going to give you the price um, in Australian dollars. And just remember that it will be, if you live in the U.S., um, it will be cheaper than that. Um, so, so where do I begin? It's just so pretty. <laughs> I don't even know. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is, let's start right here, I guess. No, no, we're not gonna start there. I don't know where to start, I don't know where to start. Okay. Okay, let's start here. Look at that pretty stuff. Oh my, my. Oh. 
Bendigo Woolen Mills Bloom Hydrangea. It's called Bloom 8 Ply. Now 8 Ply is would be a DK for us or a uh, lightweight 3 for us here in the United States. Um, it's called Bloom and the color is called Hydrangea. They have a lot of pretty colors. This one just kind of spoke to me. I love the tweed look. And remember, this is 100% new wool. And I love wool, so, you know, of course it's going to be something that I like. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. I went on this site, and I could not really even choose colors. Um, because they all look so beautiful. Um, it says bloom has a slow color transition which shifts through the plies to create unique color effects Sometimes with high contrast sometimes with tonal colorways. You will love the, the way this yarn Adds instant flair to your projects without any extra work work 100% wool It says every ball will be different because of the color shifts in it and everything, you know um, Let's read about it 400 meters so we got about 440 450 yards right here of a DK in this one ball it says you can hand wash and lay flat which I would completely agree with now it is 1450 right now remember the prices do change because uh, it's uh, the exchange rate change and that is Australian. So I'll give it to you. So that would make it today, as of today, September 3rd, $10.81 US. That's a good deal. That's a good deal because it's such a beautiful, beautiful yarn. Wow. Ah, what a steal. What a steal. What a steal, huh? Let me wait before I go any further. Let me just tell you a little bit about their company. It says the Bendigo, it's located in the historic gold mining town of Bendigo in central Victoria, north of Melbourne. It started by two local families in 1988. Their machinery is working 24 hours a day, five days a week to keep up with their customer demand. They are Australia's largest hand knitting and crafting yarn mail order manufacturing. Um, it says we use the most luxurious natural fibers available. Their method of hank dyeing results in a softer, fuller end product. The wool produced is from Australian grown wool from the NSW Highlands region. We also do produce uh, other fibers including alpaca, mohair silk, milk fiber, bamboo, and cotton. Cool. So I, I don't know. I, I they, it's their own mill, you know, and they mill it and dye it. They're awesome. Awesome. Supporting a local business. Or, not local. It's not local. But it's supporting a small business, I guess, in um, Australia. I love to support all yarn companies. Anyways, across everywhere. Okay, I'll go back to the yarn. I know you want to know about the yarn. So, that is beautiful. So, I got one of those. I... They sent it in a bag, but you know what? I didn't buy tons. I bought like a little bit, I guess, but not like a massive amount. So I'm okay with them shipping in a bag. It made it here just fine. So let's move on. I'm going to find their... Uh, this is called... Classic Cranberry, okay, and it is a 12 ply, which would be a bulky or a chunky or chunky or a bulky weight, I believe, in the U.S. Okay, so the 12 ply can be classified as a four or a five weight. So uh, to me, it's more of a four. It's a thicker four though, in between a four and five. You know, it's a nice thick four weight. So this is a Bendigo Classic. The color is called Cranberry. And again, it's 100% wool. It's very, very beautiful. This is the 12 ply. They do have it in thinner weights. Also, 
very beautiful colors um all which are solid they do recommend um oh it says you can a gentle uh machine wash this this one and um do not tumble dry normal spin dry okay and there are 260 meters in this ball remember it's kind of a thicker four and again it does feel like wool but i would still wear a scarf out of it but it does have that wool feel to it and that wool smell to it it's very very pretty so 260 meters 260 70 80 close to 290 95 uh yards there of a thicker four weight that's that's nice and it's 14 15 australia uh no i'm sorry 13.50 in australia dollars which is going to make it ten dollars and six cents us what a deal on that that's that's beautiful <laughs> beautiful beautiful um this is the same also i had to get to look at that purple this is the same uh, um as the cranberry right here that i just showed you oh that's beautiful that's beautiful um but this one is called blackberry nip this reminds me of a fellow youtuber named rose i really think she might like that the color of it at least that is beautiful hmm. so yes the same as the one i just showed you okay let's move on to a different one <laughs> I can never get tired of it, of of looking at new yarns. You know, um, I told you I had a friend in Australia that sent me some of this. She only sent me the, uh, I believe it was the classic variety that I, maybe a tweet. I, I'll have to look. I have it. I've saved it for a special project. But anyways, I never had some of these. This one is called uh, Eight Ply Galaxy. Eight ply galaxy so the eight ply is a three weight they do have it in uh, thinner weights um also but this is 50 percent wool and 50 percent bamboo it feels really nice it feels nicer than the 100 percent wools but those feel really good anyways um for a wool it doesn't feel bad you know wool can sometimes be scratchy but it's not bad and my gosh they are so beautiful i mean nice this one is a bit softer because it's got that bamboo in it the color this one's the galaxy brand the color is called ruby wine very very pretty so it says you can machine wash on gentle but do not dry and it is 400 meters of a dk so that's about 440 yards there that's a nice DK. That's a lot of yardage in them balls, really, if you think about it. Um, I think for the price you pay, and it being, you know, their own factory, their own facility, um, they mill it there, you know, and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's nice. <laughs> so, this would be... Uh, 15 Australian dollars, which is 1118 US dollars. I'd pay that all day, every day, worth every penny. It's worth every penny. Well, to me, because I love wool. It doesn't stop there. It gets pretty. It's so pretty. This is called, um, oh, this is Bloom also. This is like the purple that I showed you before. So it is the three weight. Um, but this one is called Red uh, Orchid. Beautiful. Beautiful. So those two are the same. Just different colors. Those were 10 something a piece. A lot of yardage. 400 and some. DK. Nice. Very nice. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. I'm going to move on. This one I was really interested in getting. Um... I thought it looked pretty cool. These are all made in Australia. Like I said, they mill it there and stuff. This is uh, their 10-ply cotton. 
So that would be um, about a full weight. Um, and the color I have here is called Arctic. That is beautiful, beautiful. It's very, very, it's a nice cotton. Um, it says to hand wash, don't dry, dry flat, made in Australia, approximately 360 meters, so that'd be 360, 70, 80, 90. Close about 400 yards, give or take, probably give, that would be my guess, so <laughs> around 400 yards of a DK, 100% um, cotton, and it feels really nice. It feels, I think, it's very, it's a garment worthy cotton, if you know what I mean by that. I wouldn't use it for kitchen items because I think it's worth, uh, you could wear it against your skin and it wouldn't bother you. It's very scarfable. And I was interested in again. I like to find a good cotton, and sometimes it's hard to find a good cotton. So this is available in a ten ply, which is a four weight, an eight ply, which is a three weight, and then also a lighter weight set. So these run eleven eighteen U.S. dollars, which isn't a bad price for about four hundred yards of cotton, I don't think. And it's like I said, garment worthy cotton. That's so pretty. It's like Arctic blue. Oh, that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, just like the Arctic. Very, very pretty. I like that a lot. Nice job on that. And I got one more color of the cotton. It's the same as that one. This is called, it's called peach. Oh, it's so pretty. I thought these two would go good together. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Maybe not. Maybe so. You can always let me know. <laughs> let me know, okay? I will, it won't hurt my feelings if you don't think they'll go together. I can use them separate, of course. Uh, yes, 400 yards I can make cotton hat and scarf set. Or that would be nice lightweight for the fall. Or a nice, um, beautiful, lightweight cowl. Um, even I mean, just for one, I could make Evelyn um, a top... It's beautiful. I love that. I could always get more eventually if I needed it, but right now I'm just going to stick with what I have here. See if I can get these all lined up because a couple of these are the same. And I want to make sure that I show you everything that I got. Okay. This is another one of the galaxies, which I showed you earlier. I showed you this one. This is the 50 wool, 50 bamboo. This is just another color of it. Gosh, that's pretty. It is the three weight, uh, 50 wool, 50 bamboo. The color of this one is called marine. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's the three weight, about 440 yards, 450 yards. Nice. Those two are beautiful. I'm going to make sure I don't have any more that are the same so I can just show you them both the same. Okay, those are the same. And these are all different. Okay, I'm about done. I only have one more to show you. I know uh, you can only handle so much bag of day. I don't blame you. There's only so much on myself I can handle too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. This is the, let's see, Rustic. Rustic. I think this might have been the one I, um, that was I thought was really pretty. So this is a Rustic 12-ply, which would make it between a 4 and a 5 weight yarn um, here in the U.S. Look at that. Look at that. It has that... Uh, got two of them that is beautiful heathered look it has a heathered look to it that is those are beautiful so this is a rustic this color of this one is called marine um, like I said it's between a four and a five weight is what a 12 ply would be considered there yeah nice nice 100% wool, 260 meters, so what did I say before, 260 meters, 
I'll just do an accurate. Uh, accurate. 285 yards. That is very, very pretty. So marine, and this one is called bellflower. This one is probably my favorite of the two, although I do love them both. That bellflower is gorgeous. Man, Australian wool. I love wool so much. I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. How could you not love wool? I know some people don't. A lot of people don't actually. I'm a wool lover though. So these would be um, in the U.S. as of today, ten dollars and forty-three cents U.S. dollars. That is a good deal. Worth every penny of that. It's so pretty. That would make a nice hat and scarf. Okay, I have two more to show you, and then I waited for this order for a while. Okay, so this one is called. Bendigo Tweed. It's an eight ply, which is a three weight yarn. It's 75% wool, 15% nip, and 10% bamboo. Feels nice. It's got the tweed, uh, flex in it. See that? Oh, that's pretty. The color here is called Rust. Very, very nice. I like it. And of course, this is probably going to be hand wash and everything like that. No, machine wash on gentle, but do not dry, lay flat. Makes sense, it makes sense. Um, it is, like I said, a lightweight three, so about 440 yards, something like that. And the US dollar price of this one is $11.18 US. So remember when you go to their site, um, if you are from the U.S., it's going to have Australian dollars, so the prices are going to be a little bit more. But then if you go to pay, like through PayPal or whatever, they'll do a conversion rate, and you can see how much it's going to be before you purchase it. Um, that's what I always do if I go to a company that has, like, Canadian dollars or, uh, you know, any other type of dollar, and then I'll, like, go to PayPal and pay through it, and it'll show me my conversion rate, and if it's too much... Because some places it's actually more um, I'll go back and adjust my cart to make it uh, what I want to pay so yes very very pretty on this one I I really like it rust it's very beautiful and then I have one more one more this one is called a luxury ten ply so which would be about a four weight they do have it in other plies um yeah quite a few plies i even have them in real small um small ones so about a four weight for us and this is 100 percent wool the color i have here is called rose petals 300 meters so about 330 35 yards there is their their uh, 10 ply which is about a four weight i'd say for us and the cow yeah rose petal is the colors that's very pretty I like it a lot now they did have um, that's all I got oh the price of this one I'm sorry US dollars is 1118 and that is what I say 330 35 yards of a full weight yarn so now remember this is all um, spawn there at their mill in Australia die there at their mill in Australia I think most of it is it's all very, very beautiful. It's all, to me, I'm a wool lover, worth every penny. But their cotton is very nice too, worth every penny. <laughs> worth every penny. Um, like I said, it's, it's garment worthy. If I could compare it to a cotton, I don't know. It's way better than peaches and cream, but you know, that's, that's usually what I use for war shrags. Um, maybe Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton. Walmart has a, a brand of cotton that's actually really nice, too. Alliance Brands Pima Cotton is nice. It's probably comparable to that. Um, um, can I choose a favorite? Well, I'm going to have to say I really like their 12-ply uh, Rustic in the color Bellflower. I love the color of it. It's so beautiful. Um, 
but I do love all of them and I really like their uh, bloom in the color hydrangea that purple is gorgeous but I also I also like it in the red here that's an interesting one I love all everything that I got I'm not disappointed now um, you do have to pay shipping and shipping it depends on how much you buy and I know probably not gonna like the shipping cost but you have to pay shipping you have to pay shipping it costs a lot of money to ship so um, it cost me shipping was 37 US dollars for me for the amount of yarn that I got but if you get less it's going to be less if you get more it's going to be more actually I think that's rather cheap I've shipped to Australia many many times for giveaways and um, I have a pen pal there and it's always between close to $200 a box for me to ship <laughs> a giveaway winner to Australia so what I got here I think and them shipping in a bag also I would pay that all day I wish I could pay that to ship to giveaway winners but um it probably really costs more than that for them to ship it i don't know i don't really know maybe they, they get shipping deals i don't get shipping deals but anyway anyways that's it i'm gonna go i would highly recommend bendigo but just remember it does take a while but it's i think it was well worth it i love it all look for some of this in giveaways or if i ever do mystery boxes again i might throw a ball in somebody's mystery box probably keep this one though because i think i want to make something out of it and I'll probably keep this one if that's okay. And I want to keep the uh, at least one of the cottons. The rest I might put in in uh, giveaways eventually, or um, you know, if I do mystery boxes or something. I just like to get it and show people. I like to touch it. it um, I had a lot of, of my subscribers tell me about this place too. So I mean, it's not it's not a disappointment to me at all. I love everything I got. I would recommend them. Especially if you love wool. Their cotton's rather nice. Their wool bamboo blend's rather nice. Their 100% wool is rather nice. And it's all very beautiful. So that's it. Bendigo Woolen Mills. Definitely be purchasing from them again in the future. So thank you everybody for watching. Sorry I took up so much of your time. The next time I'll try to make it shorter. I just get a little excited when I get to touch and feel new yarns. All right. Uh, you guys take care. Okay. Stay safe. Bye guys. And thanks for watching.